Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Innal hamdalillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udzu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina may yahdihillahu fala mudhillalah wa may yudlilhu fala hadiyalah. Asyhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la syarika lah la nabiyya ba'da. Let's thank and pray unto our God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has given us mercies and blessing until we can attend and gather in this condition without any troubles and obstacles. May salawat and salam always be given to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who has guided us from the darkness to the brightness, from the stupidity to the cleverness, namely Islam religion that we love. In here, I will explain about the factors of the fasting of Ramadan month. Everyone who is happy to fasting in Ramadan is eagerly awaited by every Muslim, because he has so many rewards. Ladies and gentlemen, who are happy that fasting Ramadan is a form of worship that we must carry out. Allah explain and comment in the Quran Surah Al Baqarah number one hundred and eighty three. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu kutiba alaykum siyamu kama kutiba al ladina min kabalikum la allakum tattaqun. Which means, you who believe it is obligatory for you to fast. And it was obligatory on the previous people before you, so that you are pages. As for some of the factors contained in the month of Ramadan that we should do to do get rewards from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, which include, for the first, that the bread of the person who is fasting is more fragrant to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala than the smell of musk. This is because bad breath is caused by the practice of obedience, namely fasting. However, it does not mean that a person who is fasting then underestimate his oral hygiene, so that it can disturb others around him, because the smell cannot be avoided during fasting. Everyone who is fasting must try the best so the people around him are not disturbed by bad breath. And the second, the the angels pray forgiveness for those who fast until the day break their fast. An angel are glorified creatures, never breaking his commandment, and they are the most important creatures for their prayers to be answered. And the third. Allah Taala decreed His heaven every day to make it more attractive to people who do good deeds. In others, to footers encourage them to continue to practice obedience. Because of fasting, they are deprived of the pleasure of the world and have to endure the hardship of fasting. This is done with the hope of reaching heaven. The fourth, that the demons are born so that they cannot disturb and mislead the believers as they disturb in others' mind, because Allah give priority to the month of Ramadan with worship and obedience to Him, so that even believers are busy with their deeds. And the last, that Allah forgive this ummah at the end of every night, as explained by Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That every servant will be rewarded every time he finishes doing his deeds. That means this month every servant will be forgiven if they have done what they were told from fasting and crying out others did. These are some of factors contained in the month of Ramadan. 
How much would we lose if we could not achieve the features contained in the month of Ramadan? Therefore, my brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, let us always remain faithful during the day and night of Ramadan and competition in all forms of good deeds that include reciting Quran, multiply tasbih, tahlil, takbir, istighfar, and ask all of all to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Take refuge in him from anar and others good prayers. And do amar ma'ruf nahi munkar in a gentle way, wisdom, and good method, accompanied by a careful attitude from all forms of ugliness, and always repeat an istiqomah on al haq in order to practice his word. Hopeful, Allah will give taufik to all of us in matters that are pleasing to him, and hopeful, Allah will protect all of them from astari by slender disturbance. Truly, he is generous, most glorious, and always enthusiast in carry out of fasting, and I hope our fasting is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, maybe that's all can I say about virtues of Ramadan. I hopeful in the upcoming Ramadan fasting, we will always be given healthy, fluency, and blessing in carrying it all. And the last I say, thank you and give me apologies when I have many mistakes, please forgive me. And the last I say, wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah wa wa inayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.